So, you know, one of the holy grails of, a, of an attacker is to get to all of the usernames and passwords. You know, because at that point, it's kind of game over. So in order to prevent that type of thing from occurring, the PCI DSS requires two things around uh, passwords. These passwords need to be encrypted when they're being transmitted over your internal network. And they also need to be encrypted when they're stored. Now, back in requirement 6.3, we talked about having an SDLC that, uh, that that's, takes PCI DSS into account. And this might be one of those situations, right, where you, you ask yourself, well, how are we going to authenticate? And if you're using a local authentication store, that those passwords, right, in your applications that you, you're developing need to be stored in an encrypted format. So from an assessor's perspective, we're going to look at all of your applications and how you're authenticating. And we're then going to look at all of the authentication stores, where those usernames and passwords reside. And we're going to look to see that they're absolutely actually encrypted.